Andrea requested a few exercises for her booty using the extra ball. You can use these exercises anytime you want. But remember, when you are doing any type of weight training, strength training workout, you need to take a day of rest in between working the same muscle group. So if I did booty on Monday, theoretically I probably shouldn't do booty again until Wednesday. You're gonna come down on your back. You're gonna put your heels on the ball. Now, I'm using a pole, but pretend the pole was a wall, or you can use your pole if your pole is up. Hands are down by your side, and basically what you're gonna do is keep your pelvis tilted up and in, and you can see that it lifted my booty off the floor a little bit, and now I'm just gonna press up. And basically what you're doing is you're pressing your heels into the ball to lift your booty. Now, what you're getting out of this, me specifically, because I'm on just the pole, is you can see that you, if you are not using your muscles slowly and controlled, you are actually going to slide side to side. And you're going to squeeze up every time you lift. And as soon as I move to show you that, that's when I lost my balance. Keep your hands out to your sides for your kickstands and press the heels in and squeeze up. Now if you're getting cramps in your calf muscles from keeping your heels pulled up, just relax your feet like I just did, but you're still pressing through the heel. You can go ahead and do as many as you want. If you start to feel any pain in your back, take a break. That means you've lost your um, pelvic tilt and you are no longer using the muscles, you're straining. If you get that cramp in your calf, that's from keeping your toes up. Go ahead and just let your feet relax on the ball, but make sure you're still pushing the heels into the ball. I would say three to five sets of 15 repetitions each. So the next exercise is actually bringing the feet down in front of you and all you're going to do is push in towards your wall. So you're just pushing the heels in towards the wall engaging the back of your legs and your buns to actually push the ball into the wall. Now, if that is a little uncomfortable, you can actually bring the ball up a little bit. And then you're still going to press, which works better for me. I like this angle better. I don't like the ball on the floor for this one. And you press in keeping a 90 degree angle so your knees are in line with your ankles and your knees are in line with your hips and you're just pressing the ball in using the back of your legs and your buns to contract in towards the pole. Kick stands, probably about a 45 degree angle, abs tight. The pelvis is still tilted so that you are using the muscles in the back of the legs. It's going to feel weird. You're probably going to get cramps in your calves for this one too. Just because your body's not used to these different angles as to how to activate your butt muscles. This one is basically like doing a squat. But if you have a bad back or bad knees, it takes the pressure off of those two areas. You can do a single. As you can see, it takes way more stability. And apparently I'm better at my left than I am at my right. Once again, depending on which one you're doing, I would say three to five sets at 15 repetitions each. Take a break in between. 
The last exercise for your booty is going to be um, balance. We're going to get up on the ball. Okay. Walk forward until your shins are pressing on the ball. Okay. If you have bad wrists, you can go down to your forearms. So what you would do is you would go to your forearms right from the start. Use your abs. Keep your hands planted. Feet together. You're going to pull up and push back. Pull up and push back. Keep your head neutral and push back. Squeeze your buns. Use your abs for balance. Squeeze your buns. Squeeze in through the legs, push out through the abs and, and legs. And then when you're done, walk yourself back. So there are three butt exercises you can work on getting better at. Uh, they will not replace eating right, adding in cardio, Cross training with different exercises. You cannot spot reduce people. You can't do it. You must incorporate all of your food, your exercise. It has to all work together in order to get the body that you really want. All right, hope it was helpful.